Thanks, Jeff. Well, ever wonder who made the Happy Meal happy and why it's in a box instead of a bag? The man responsible for the Happy Meal's huge success is from right down the road in Montgomery County. Jack Goldenberg joins me now in the studio to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I was reading all about your amazing story. I said my daughters are huge fans, so thank you for your hard work. And mm -hmm. let's rewind, Jack. Tell me um, how the Happy Meal came to be. What was your job at the time and how did you get involved? The Happy Meal was invented before McDonald's made it successful. Right. Um, then it wasn't successful for a long time. Um, people didn't want it. They, they had Ronald McDonald on the side of the box. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves Ronald, but it wasn't appealing to enough people. Yeah. What I did, I was creative director of their promotion agency, and I fought with Ray Kroc. Not an easy thing to do. Yeah, he's, I, he was the big guy at the time, right? He wanted to put right? it in a bag to save $300,000 a week, $15 million a year. I wanted to put it in a bag, a box, because bo kids collect boxes, and I was going to make it collectible. Now, what was it like going against the top executives at the time? I mean, we're, how certain were you that the box was the secret here? You're, ne you're never certain. Yeah. But, and you also never meet Ray Kroc. Yeah, okay. I argued, I argued, argued with him with two men in an in, in identical dress every time. I, and they kept saying, we can't tell Mr. Kroc no. I said, well, you tell Mr. Kroc no, because I'm going to put it in a box. And what I did was I put movies on the side of the box. The first one was Star Trek, and it really just kicked off. It was a huge success from there. Yeah. Were you scared, Jack, or what was this like going where no man has gone before, as this sign says? When, <laughs> when McDonald's wouldn't believe me that movies merchandise was going to be, I brought in Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf oh, from, yeah. from Law and Order. Yeah. And Dick said, no, Jack's right. He may be young, but he knows what he's doing. And I also brought in a gentleman named Rusty Citron, who was president of the Actors Hall of Fame. And eventually, McDonald's believed them, believed me, and they did the Star Trek Happy Meal. Wow. Uh, what did it teach you uh, about, you know, sticking to your guns, saying no? What did you learn? And how did this shape your career? You never know what's going to work, mm -hmm. okay? I don't care what people say. But um, I, I had a feeling that kids would collect it. I think kids would want it. It's actually viral. Kids wake up in the morning, they go, Mom, Dad, I gotta go back to McDonald's. I need three more SpongeBob's or Disney. And yeah, they do. I, I have two of them at my house. Um, and when, when you did come up with the solution, so to speak, what was that like? Did you hear from Mr. Kroc? Did you, you know, was it an, yes. a success overnight? Yes. No, it was not. A, well, it, was, it was a success from day one uh -huh. because Star Trek was big. Yeah. It actually turned Star Trek into a, a movie franchise. I never met Mr. Kroc, but as people said, it seemed to work out. Yeah, wow, it sure did. Uh, and what is it like for you now, years later, you know, seeing kids with their Happy Meals and still seeing this product so successful? 970 million people buy a Happy Meal every day. Um, sometimes I go into McDonald's. One day I went in and I bragged and I said to somebody, I made the Happy Meal. I launched the Happy Meal. He said, big deal, I make 15 a day. <laughs> so it wasn't quite the same thing. Wow, yeah. And what does, the, you know, someone like you, after you make the Happy Meal successful, what do you do? Do you go on vacation? Do you take a break? Do I launched I launched other products. I uh -huh. launched Cabbage Patch. I launched Pop Rocks, wow. uh, the Pee Wee Herman toys. So that's what I do for, for a living. I, I uh, launch products or launch ideas. Yeah. And what's the biggest thing you learned from all of this? And what's your best advice to the marketing or promotional folks watching if you believe in something don't give up mm -hmm. yeah it's as simple as that right yeah. yep. and is it still as fun launching things now a few years later as it was absolutely a few years ago absolutely with this? yeah yep still at it wow jack so so great uh and continued success to you come Thank back you. and show us what else you uh transform Thank you. thanks so much so fun to chat with you right down the street this uh this genius thank you so much it is 856 we'll be right back after this thanks